Please subscribe to In5D YouTube videos. Due to new algorithms and shadow banning on Facebook, please subscribe to In5D and get all updates delivered to your inbox in one simple email. Just go to In5D.com to subscribe. Top 10 Spiritual Truths We Weren't Taught in School, by Michelle Walling, CHLC. Guest Writer, In5D.com. What would our world be like today if these top 10 spiritual truths were taught in our schools, in the mainstream media, and in our history books? How can we change the system to introduce these topics to our future generations? What will the world be like after successfully recognizing these spiritual truths? Number 1. We are spiritual beings on a human journey. Before we came down into this physical body, we planned out the point in time that we would begin to awaken to who and what we are. The womb of our mother was the tunnel of forgetting, and we knew the challenge of remembering would be tough. The biggest risk we took was never remembering. We were never disconnected from our source of light, however the connection was stretched very long and thin to reach this part of the universe in density. Our challenge is to strengthen this connection and to grow our pillar of light in remembrance and recognition of who we truly are. Number 2. Our souls never die we just change our focus. As a spark of light from source, we are infinitely connected to the flow of experience. When it is time to disconnect the cord of life from our physical body, our spark rises up and out of the human physical body. We take the experience of our lifetime with us, but our focus is changed to a slightly different level of vibration. We still exist as the person we were in human form as well as the many people we have been before. Every lifetime builds experience and wisdom. Number three. Everything is energy vibrating at a certain frequency. All living things on Earth have consciousness, even rocks and trees. Everything and everyone is connected to a tree of life or an infinite energy source. We can connect to the consciousness of trees and rocks and can carry on conversations with them by tuning in to their particular vibrational frequency. Our bodies are 90% water and can be programmed and molded to a certain vibrational frequency via thoughts, sound, color, and love. When we understand vibration, we can understand how alternative and holistic treatments can cure any disease or ailment in the body by changing the water vibration. Number 4. Our thoughts create our reality. All thoughts are energy which manifest into what we see as reality. Always being aware of your thoughts is one of the first steps in responsible co-creation of your reality. It is a simple concept but takes awareness and work. If every person on earth changed their thoughts towards peace and freedom there would be no war or tyranny. Focusing on negative thoughts will create a lower vibrational frequency and focusing on positive thoughts can raise the vibrational frequency. Our reality is a manifestation of what we create through thought patterns. Number 5. We are the ones we have been waiting for. There are many races and dimensions of beings on the planet at this time. Cherubim angels, seraphim angels, archangels, Pleiadians, Orions, Syrians, Arcturians, Anunnaki, just to name a few. We volunteered to be here at this time. Answering the call from the consciousness of planet Earth as she cried out for help. We came here from other galaxies, universes, and cosmoses. Many came here each time there was a chance to achieve a golden age after the fall. Although those times were not completely successful, they were all preparation for this time. Number 6. Most of us incarnated here before many times, in order to prepare for this current lifetime. 
there are souls who are here to be wayshowers and leaders and there are souls here who just wanted to be here to witness the raising of vibration of the human race in concert with the planet which will affect the solar system, the universe, the cosmos, and beyond. For those who lead by example, our schooling never stops. We had many classes to take in order to prepare to master ourselves in this incarnation. The scope of the effect this event will have on all of creation is one of the biggest secrets of all. Some say that the incarnation cycle has ended and this lifetime is the opportunity to release ourselves from the wheel of karma, or the need to balance our actions. Number 7. We are never alone. We could not exist here without help from our spirit guides and angels. Or high vibrational beings of light who made agreements with us to help steer us on the path toward the goal of ascension. They exist in another vibrational level or dimension higher than ours thus most of us cannot see them. They are always with us and are waiting patiently for us to ask for help. As we live on a free will planet. They abide by laws of interference because of our free will. But if we ask with our highest and best interest they do have creative ways of manifesting what you ask for. Most guidance comes from within through a process of telepathy where you get an idea in your head. Messages can also come from other people those who can tap into that vibrational level in order to hear what they have to say. Number 8. Time is an illusion. We have a past and we have already been to the future. The majority of our energy particles our souls, exist in a place of no time. Time is created in order to experience and is part of the controlled experiment. Meditation or going within is the key to returning to the place of no time where all the answers lie. Number 9. Ascension does not involve going anywhere. It is a state of being, a focus of awareness and consciousness into a higher vibrational frequency. It is what we were created for to go forth and experience, and return the experiences back to source in an infinite loop of co-creation and mastery. The main reward of incarnating in the depths of hell at this time is rising like the phoenix from the ashes into the bliss and light of love. This is achieved by being love itself. Number 10. Love is all there is. Finding and reconnecting to love again is the most important thing we can do as humans. Source is unconditional love, and we are sparks of source which means we are also love. Therefore we are that we seek. Loving ourselves unconditionally is the key to returning to source. Change starts with each individual person recognizing these truths. We are not responsible for trying to convince others of our own truth, but instead all we have to do is to be truth and the rest will follow. How do we do this? Be the example by speaking your truth, and watch the world change before your eyes. By becoming responsible for ourselves, our thoughts, and our actions. We will have made one great leap toward the future of our children and the future of humanity as spiritual beings on a human journey. We have the greatest opportunity ever in the history of the Earth to be the best version of a human being we can be. It is simply up to us as to how glorious we create the future of humanity existing on the spaceship we call Earth. This article was written within the 10 hours of hours of power of the author's astrological solar return, inspired by a reading by Lavander. Michelle Walling, CHLC is a holistic life coach. International public speaker, writer, webmaster, and radio show host. Michelle is the webmaster for MichelleWalling.com, CosmicStarseeds.com, ThestarChildren.net, and HowToExitTheMatrix.com. Michelle is the host of the Cosmic Awakening Show. Please subscribe to in 5D YouTube videos. If you have an amazing 5D article you would like published on in 5D, send your article to myarticle at in5d.com. 
in 5D has over 400,000 followers on Facebook but any given post only reaches a maximum of 3,000 of them. Welcome to Censorship in America. If you've been following in 5D on Facebook, I highly suggest subscribing to the daily or weekly emails so you don't miss a thing. Due to new algorithms and shadow banning on Facebook, please subscribe to In5D and get all updates delivered to your inbox in one simple email. Just go to In5D.com to subscribe.